Thank you very much for coming, especially staff. Thank you for making time. Thank you for making time for this meeting today. Um, we acknowledge the land that we are meeting on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the ha Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and it is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis people. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. I know what that means. Are there any decla declarations of interest under the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act? No declarations? Um, is there anyone here to deal with 33.1, the 1230 public hearing? Naming of a public lane north of Eglinton West between Fairbank Avenue and Short Street. No one here? Councillor Cole, is this yours? It is. It is. I'd like to move the recommendation. Thank you. Any speakers? Any question? All in favor? Opposed? Supported. Is there anyone here for item two? 33.2, naming of unassumed street between Reen Drive and Barbary Place as Karen's Way. No one here? Any, sp oh, David, go ahead. Move the recommendation. Moved by Councillor Shiner. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. You look like a Boy Scout. Uh, item 33.3, parking and traffic and parking regulations, Stanley Green neighborhood. Transportation is here. Are there questions? Denzel, go ahead. So, so um, number five, no, excuse me, item number four. There are over 12 stop sign locations that are recommended here in this. So do staff, have staff three? had an opportunity? This is three, three. item three. Oh, sorry, yeah, this is it. Number so number four, recommendation number four in this report. Oh, sorry. On page Go ahead. three, the, the, the letter that you signed, Councillor? Yes. Um, there are 12, I think 14 stop sign locations. I'm whether, I'm, I, my question to staff, transportation staff, is whether they've had an opportunity to uh, attend in the development, look at every single in intersection, and determine whether those stop signs are necessary or not. And through you, Madam, Madam Chair, the answer is yes. We're very familiar with the development. Sorry? Um, the answer is yes. We're very familiar with the development. We know where all the stop signs have been recommended, and we certainly support the use of stop signs in all those cases. So uh, my second question is, therefore, there's a warrant system for giving the, for um, uh, allowing for these stop signs. Is that correct? Is there, is there a system for determining whether a stop sign is required or not? Well, the system would be through you, Madam Chair, the, the typical um, use of intersection control. So we no longer have uncontrolled intersections. So our choices would be yield signs or stop signs. And we typically don't use yield signs through this kind of development. Is so we believe these intersections should be controlled and stop sign is the most appropriate form of control. Is there a requirement for a 70-30 modal split to justify stops, the installation of a stop sign or we stop? The, the use of um, multi-way stops, all-way stops through you, Madam Chair, there is a, um, a, a warrant that we typically apply uh, I believe that the warrant has not been applied in this case because this is a development that's been in place for quite some time. The owner of the development has installed stop signs and it's our decision not to go in and remove stop signs that the developer has previously installed on private property. So is it true when you don't have a 70-30 modal split you're actually creating a potential hazard in terms of putting a stop sign in? I would say through you, Madam Chair, that it isn't necessarily a hazard. 
Um, we certainly look at each location on its own merit to determine if not following the warrants in that case is likely to create an unsafe situation. And again, in this case, I believe that the use of a multi-way stop is not creating an unnecessarily uh, unsafe situation. So you haven't sort of measured whether all these intersections, whether there's a 70-30 mobile split or not? Well, in, in the case of uh, measuring that through you, Madam Chair, we would be only looking at the multi-way stop location, and there is only one multi-way stop location being proposed in the, uh, in the subdivision. And no, we haven't looked at that one location. All right, I'll speak. Yeah, I'm Are so there any other questions of staff? Council, uh, David? So, aren't the stop signs currently installed there? Yeah, the developer put them in. Through you, Madam Chair, stop signs were installed previously by the developer, and the city is coming along to, um, because the roads are now becoming city roads, the city is now going to bylaw those stop signs and install them ourselves. Okay, so this was, these were private roads. Stop signs were installed. We are assuming the roads. This is a recommendation to leave the stop signs that are there in place. And you are supportive of leaving them there? Through you, Madam Chair, that's precisely the case. Yes, Councillor. Thank you. Thank you. To speak, Councillor Minin Wong? Yeah, I, I, I just like to separate the number four. I, I, I have no objections to the, your recommendations for the parking prohibitions I don't have any, or, the, or the speed, uh, setting the speed limit. I do have a concern with regard to where a stop sign goes. It's, it's kind of remarkable that a developer gets to determine where stop signs go. Usually there's an arrangement where, where we, we used to rely on staff and their professional advice on whether a stop sign was merited or not. And there, used to be a, there used to be standards that we used to apply, apparently not in this circumstance. I think that we should take the time necessary to uh, look at where those stop signs go. What, 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 what I've always been told is you put in a stop sign where it's not necessary, you create a, a safety issue. I don't want to create a safety issue. Um, people think that putting stop signs everywhere actually makes things safer. That's not always the case. We've had this discussion over and over and over again. And that's why I think in this arrangement, I'm going to vote against this until we get a, a, a report back from staff suggesting to us where the stop sign should go. Thank you. <clears throat> um, if I could hand the gavel over to Councillor Pasternak for a moment and speak. This is my ward. It's a very new, um, it's a very new uh, constituency for me. It was the one, the first park that was built on by um, the former federal uh, park, Downsview Park. This is the Stanley Green community. Uh, yes, it's true. Councillor Min and Wong did say that the developer put up these stop signs, and they were as a as a response to the un unsafe situation. So I am relying on staff. Staff have okayed all of them, or else they wouldn't be before you today. Thank you. So. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it was an it was a time constraint Denzel um, I didn't want to say this before but some staff had, had told me that the road was not assumed and that's why it wasn't prepared for the last meeting of Community Council and now another staff division told me the road is approved thank you any more questions speakers all right so we're voting on item four first because uh, Councillor Min and Wong held that in abeyance. So on item four, which is part four, which is the compulsory stop controls. All in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, opposed? One, two. Thank you. So item four carries the balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, opposed? Okay, carries. Item four, fire routes for that same community. Any questions, comments? Yes. Go ahead. 
so as, as I read this, this essentially said, so the original recommendations were to refuse this traffic calming, yes? Uh, through you, Madam Chair, the, the recommendations put forward dealing with fire routes were put forward by the fire department. Sorry, I'm sorry, I, maybe I've got the wrong one here. What item are we dealing with? Four. Oh, four, no, 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 I'm okay with four. It's, it's the next one after that. Item four, fire, work, fire routes. All in favor? Opposed? Carried? Item I have read it. five? Is that I have questions. Reopening of item 26.22. Francine, does the reopening require two thirds? Yeah. Yes. The reopening requires two thirds before we deal with it. All in favor of the reopening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two thirds. Thank you. Great. Okay. So, Councillor Pasternak. I, I have a question first. I don't know if you want. To. You're welcome to ask, ask questions first. Do you want him to ask his question of staff first? Okay, question of staff. Staff on the floor, uh, to the floor. Councillor Min and Wong. Yeah, just to be clear, the original staff, the original recommendations were to refuse the traffic calming, yes? Through you, Madam Chair, the staff were opposed to uh, the introduction of traffic calming in this case. Yeah. And why was that? Because the warrants were not met. I see. Sure. So this essentially says, this new recommendation essentially says, if I read it right, go out, ask the residents on the street what they want. If they say they want them, just don't come back here, just put them in. Through you, Madam Chair, the um, item before you here is is not an item that staff have brought forward. No, no, I no. But my understanding is, if we adopt these recommendations, you go out and do a poll, and if the if they want them, you put them in, and you just don't pay any attention to what the staff said. Through you, Madam Chair, um, that pretty well captures the situation. Yes. Thank you, Councillor Pasternak. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Um, we are, we're simply polling uh, the residents here, and they've been polled on their own, a, a community-driven poll in the past which supported some kind of traffic calming strategy. Is that, is that correct? I, we have some numbers here from the residents. Is that? Uh, through you, you, Madam Chair, I, I'm sorry, I didn't capture, catch the question. Could I have the question again? The community has polled on this item in the past, and a majority of residents had supported traffic calming. Is that, is that your understanding of the situation? Um, through you, Madam Chair, that's not our understanding of the situation. I believe that there's been no poll taken of the street. You're saying the residents did not poll on their street and did not come back with a majority supporting traffic calming? Through you, Madam Chair, I'm not aware of any poll that's been taken on the street dealing with traffic calming, this traffic calming. By the local residents? By the local residents, uh, Madam Chair. And were they are insisting they, uh, they did poll, that a majority supported a staff poll? Uh, that, that came through our office, and I think it's been brought to your attention. Um, okay. Any other questions? Speakers? I'll Go just ahead. simply say we're just uh, showing respect for the local community uh, by having uh, city staff or the clerk uh, poll eligible householders on King High Avenue. Uh, to see uh, whether there is, in fact, support for, um, for traffic calming along King High. Uh, it uh, represents a cut-through route off Wilson Avenue, which is increasingly congested, uh, with fatalities along Wilson between uh, Bathurst and Wilson Heights. Uh, this community is particularly concerned about uh, people who are cutting up their street, particularly northbound, uh, avoiding Wilson Avenue, and they are seeking uh, some guidance from staff on, uh, on how to uh, reduce the uh, traffic and reduce the risk of, of uh, in injuries and deaths to their families. I think it's a reasonable request. 
All right, ready for a vote on the item? All in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Opposed? Okay, the yeas have it. Uh, item six, Councillor Cole, loading zone on Stainer Avenue and Marley. Is it? Um, I'll move the recommendation. For the designation? Yes, for the designation. Any questions? Loading zone. Any comments? Uh oh. Tomato season's coming. I know, I know. That's the reality. I know. That's why it's urgent. I know. And it's, it's serious. It's actually, that's. <laughs> and. All in favor? We're days away from. Opposed, carried. That was one to nothing. Okay. David Shiner. You're next. Short-term parking and U-turn prohibition, Cummer Valley Middle School. And then that's it. I'm moving the recommendation. Any questions? Any comments? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Councillor Cole, you have a motion to introduce and enact certain bills. And then you should, should, are we going to do a speech about filling again or something? No, this no. Is the last one? No. Enough. Um, Enough. <laughs> well, this is truly the last one. Change your mind. Um, that the North York Community Council pass and declare as bylaws bills 1151 to 1170 prepared for the July 23rd, 2018 meeting 33 of the Community Council. Shall these bills be passed and declared as a bylaw? All in favor? Opposed? Carried? Councillor Pasternak, you have a motion to introduce and enact the confirming bill. That the North York Community Council pass and declare as a bylaw confirmatory bill to confirm the legislative proceedings of the North York Community Council acting under delegated authority at meeting 33 on July 23, 2018. Shall this bill be passed and declared as a bylaw? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you so much for, for making time. And, and staff, thank you so much to you too. Really don't appreciate get, it. Don't get lost going back to North York. <laughs> we won't. We drove. I have cheese. I mean, we took the PTC. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't have any. Yeah, I think we Thank you so much, Francine. I'm so sorry.